Hi guys, welcome to another unboxing video. In this video, I'll be unboxing the Gigabyte 3080 Aorus Extreme GPU. This GPU comes with 10 gigs of GDDR6 memory with a 320 bit memory interface. This is the only graphics card that won the Red Dot Design Award for this year. Let's go to the back of the box. So this GPU has fans that cover the entire width of the heatsink and it has a very interesting LCD panel on the GPU which we will get to once we unbox the GPU and it can be customized and also the RGB lights can be customized and you get a little Aorus action figure too in, with this. Alright guys so let's get to the unboxing right now. Here is some information regarding the warranty and on how to register the product. Here is a quick start guide. This is the AOS action figure. and an Aora sticker that you stick on the desktop PC. Wow, the graphics card is really big and it feels really solid too. It has three fans to provide really good cooling and a very, very big, very, very big heatsink. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the plastic tapings around the graphics card. So this is the LCD panel on the graphics card, and this is the huge heatsink. It's extremely huge. And these are the big heat transfer pipes. These are the 8-pin power input ports. And it's got a really good metal backplate. And this is the heatsink from the bottom of the graphics card. Alright, so here are the graphic outputs. This is the display port, second display port, third display port. And these are the HDMI's. So there's three HDMI and three display. All right, guys. So we've come to the very exciting part. Here, I'm gonna install the 3080 Aorus Extreme GPU into my Ryzen 3900 XT gaming computer. Let's get started. First, uh, make sure that the GPU lock is released. Next is I'm trying to install the GPU into the socket, trying to get the best way possible. The CPU wire here is interfering, so I'm going to take it over the GPU and carefully insert the GPU into the PCI slot. Then now the GPU is finally set in and next would be to secure the GPU onto the computer frame. So there's two screws that I need to secure it into. Alright, so this is the last screw and now the GPU is properly secured in. So the final step here is to connect the power cables into the GPU. It requires three 8-pin power connectors. So here is the GPU secured to the frame with the power inputs connected. Alright, now I'm going to turn on the computer. 
Alright, the graphics card turns on and the LCD panel already shows some animations. Alright, next I'm going to run the benchmarking application, but before that I'm just going to show you guys that the graphics card is running at its default settings. The memory, the GPU clock, the fan speed, the power, everything is at its default values so that it doesn't uh, affect the benchmarking results. Next I'm going to go to the benchmarking tool and I'm going to run the 3D tests. So the screen here that I have is a 4K screen and I'm just gonna let the test run because it's gonna take a while and I'll show you guys how the results are. Alright so the tests have been completed and the results are here. It has scored 27,837 points and a comparable 3080 RTX scores 24,466. So this graphics card, the AOLS Extreme, has done better than the average RTX 3080. This comes to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.